Hi. Hello. Last week we answered the question, how do I get my money when I retire? In other words, how do I get the money that I make in the stock market into my checking account to pay my bills? That's our number one most asked question. Our second most asked question is, what are you gonna do about the 59 and a half early withdrawal penalties on retirement accounts? For those that don't know, there is a 10% early withdrawal fee for tax advantaged retirement accounts like 401ks or IRAs if you pull out any money before the age of 59 and a half. Luckily, there are a few workarounds that help you to not only get your money out penalty free, but they might also help you to retire a little early. Sound too good to be true? Well, let's take a look at an example first. Should we do the regular graphics or should we do minority report graphics? Minority report. Okay. <laughs> let's say that you're 28 years old, making $50,000 a year and saving 50% of it. Putting away $25,000 a year, you should be able to retire at the age of around 45. At the end of 17 years, you have a total of about $900,000 in your accounts. So now you're 45 years old and you have enough invested to cover your expenses for life. Problem is you can't touch that money for another 14 and a half years, right? To avoid the penalties, we are going to use something that the mad scientist called the Roth IRA conversion ladder. And it works like this. Any contributions that you make to a Roth IRA can be withdrawn at any time penalty free meaning the money you actually invest, not the money your money earns. The sneaky trick is that the IRS considers conversions from a traditional IRA to a Roth IRA as a contribution, meaning the money you contribute and the money your money earns in a traditional IRA, once converted into a Roth IRA and let sit for five years, can be withdrawn penalty free. Of course, you'll still have to pay taxes on that money in the process, but you'll avoid the 10% penalty fee. But what about the 401k you might be asking? That's where most of my money is locked up. You simply add one more step. First, roll over the 401k into a traditional IRA. Then convert that traditional IRA into a Roth IRA, contributions, withdraw, no penalty. Easy as pie. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Ooh. Japanesey. The reason that it's called a Roth conversion ladder is because you should only convert your annual expenses each year. That way you lower your tax bracket rather than converting everything in one lump sum. And believe it or not, if you could live on less than the standard deduction that we all get each year, you'd actually pay zero taxes on the conversion. All you need is about five years worth of expenses in a taxable account just to get you over that first hump of the Roth conversion ladder. At this point, you might be assuming that this is some sort of illegal tax loophole. Wrong. Actually, just a few months ago in September 2014, the IRS released new notice uh, 2014-54, I think it was. I'll leave a link in the description. But basically, it confirmed that this is both a viable and lawful strategy. So there you have it. You can continue to max out your IRA and your 401k without fear. And this is our new strategy. If you've watched any of our previous videos, you know that we were mostly investing in just our Roth IRAs. Now that we've learned of this strategy, it will be this plus a few investment properties. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them down below and I will leave links in the description to the Mad Fientist articles that I referenced for this video. And I think that's it. Thanks guys. See you Sunday. Bye.